What we wanted to do was to have a space that women would feel comfortable coming in, that would also be open to everybody, not just women, to learn more about the wide diversity um, of women who have an abortion, but to create a space that is striking and, and somehow powerful as well. Um, I thought it was very touching to read all these statements, um, both on the shirts and uh, on the notes behind me. Um, I thought it was very courageous for them to, to speak up about their experience, because I think there's still to be around the topic of contraception and abortion and all these kind of things. So I think it's a really good idea to have an exhibition like this. It's getting people's stories out and telling the untold or hidden stories that often go under the radar and about what women have had to go through in the past to get abortions but also what persists to this day as well. You know, we really welcome anybody who, who will walk in the door, whether or not they just were curious and passing by and thought, oh, this might be interesting, or whether or not they've been affected personally by an abortion at any time, then, you know, every, anybody and everybody is very welcome to come in and have a look around. So it's clearly not just about young women. And we do hear that women are actually revealing for the first time that they have had an abortion. In those stories, women talk about how seeing this exhibition and understanding how common abortion is, how many women have to face this decision, um, has made them feel not quite so alone and has made them feel more powerful. Um, the benefit of this exhibition is that it absolutely humanises abortion here and now today, reminding people it's not a an issue has gone away, it's not solved, there's still controversy, we haven't legalised it as far as we should and it's composed of many, many individual women making individual personal choices. It's fantastic.